Hello, everybody. You're here with Claro Beauty with your host, Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. And today is an episode of this very gothic, purplish, uh, sort of lips, but still natural, still wearable. <laughs> so this came from the movie Wednesday. I don't know if you're familiar with it. I, I think that's what the movie's called. I'm going to put a picture right here of what I'm talking about. And uh, I saw this lip look and I look into what it was and that's how this whole thing came about. So if you're interested on watching this, um, please keep on moving along with me and, uh, and let's begin. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Thank you very much. All right. So, um, like I said, when I looked into it, what the uh, artist was wearing through the movie was MAC lip liner on with Night Moth. And then this product, Dr. Paw Paw Original Balm, Multipurpose Soothing Balm with Natural Paw Paw. For lip, skin, hair, beauty, finish, and cuticles. Uh, this reminds me more like Vaseline, right? I mean, it's wear for everything. We'll try it. And so these two things, these two items. Now, when I ordered this, I got very curious. And because I really like my Lisa Eldridge products, uh, I order one that simulates us very close. And this is the Lisa Eldridge Midnight, um, which I do have her lipstick, but that will be very gothic fully. So it will, it will differentiate for what we're going to try to do today, but I will compare it and you'll see the difference. And then I also will share how I mostly wear, which ended up not being with this. So I guess I give it away already, but if you want to see how I play with this, um, that's what we're going to do. All right. So first of all, what I am wearing in my lips right now, it is this lip liner, the MAC uh, Nine Moth, but it is a different lipstick. It is the Intuition by EM Cosmetics. I was doing a different video. I will link it if you want to watch it with this look. Uh, actually, it's a different video for the eyes and then a different video for the cheeks and lips. So if you're interested, go ahead and do that. Um, so bottom line, so you already know, I love the MAC Night Moth. Um, I think it's worthwhile for many reasons. There's another one. I'm trying to see if I have it here with me because there's another MAC uh, lip liner that is one of those favorite ones. Let's see, I have here other two, but I don't think they're it. One is Spice, one is Soar. No, those are different. And then I have a red one, which is Chicory. It's not that one. All right, Claudia. So I don't have the other one that I really like, but that's okay. Because it's, it's going in a different direction. I mean, there's a reason why I ended up ordering this. This is brand new in my collection and I love it. All right. So let's first swatch them. And so, so you see, okay, so this is the Mac and then I'm going to swatch the Lisa Eldridge. Um, okay. So just on the swatch, the Lisa Eldridge feels a little creamier. So this is Lisa Eldridge and this is the Mac. Yeah, did not, um, this one is a lot darker, obviously, a lot more violet night sort of thing. So that's interesting. I am pulling out the right lip liner. I think so. Okay, midnight. What is this? Yeah, midnight. You know, guys, yeah, I'm looking at the box. For some reason, all day that I've been filming today, the colors in my brain have been very different. <laughs> to show you guys. So it's actually been a great experiment for me too, because I'm like, that's not what I recall seeing it. Cause this is more burgundy than the purplish. 
but go figure just just bear with me just play with me just play with me right so let's now that i show you the two uh let's apply let's take this off and i'm gonna take it off with you just so i don't have to edit this single part because it's not the editing of this single part that is hard is that if I edit the video, I had to upload it to a place and then change it to another place. And then it's just too many transfers. And that makes it very hard to finally upload to YouTube. That's where the editing, because the editing is not that difficult. The editing can be very simple. It is that I still haven't got the whole hang of it from one place to another. All right, it's a long story. We're not gonna get it there. Okay, and it's a, it's a story, a frustrating story. So let's not, let's tuck nice things like makeup all right so this is the mac lip liner now i had to apply without talking but i want to share with you <laughs> one point when i first uh got the lip liner at the beginning it feels very drying and I actually thought, oh no, it's a drying lip liner. It's, tick, tick, tick. it's very hard. But through time, if you use it, it kind of waxes it out. And if it doesn't dry, it's very comfortable. And it slides very nice. So, if you get it, use it a little bit or do, do it in your arm or warm it up a little bit and then it won't be as bad. Okay, so if you notice, I applied it and then I did this, and it's not moving much. So if you really want this color all over, you really have to color in. And that's a good thing for lining, and that's a good thing for, for staying power. That means where you put it, it's going to stay there. So I put a little lines just to get a little bit more of this color. Of course, I can fill it up, but I don't want to do that. I don't want this boldness all over my lips. All right. So now let's do the second part, which is the Paw Paw, Dr. Paw Paw. I never have heard of this at all. So it was just with that. And I ordered it through Amazon. Of course, Amazon has everything nowadays. So we're going to apply this just to see the texture or show you. I already play with this so um there you go can you see i mean it's transparent the little color that you see at the beginning is because i have applied it directly to my lips so it's already stained but if i take that out you see that i think it's kind of vaseline a little less oily a little less greasy and obviously the flavor might be a little lighter right so It does feel soft and nice to the lips. What it did, other than making me like a clown, it softened the lip liner a little bit. And by doing that, it allowed it to move the color. Of course, now I'm staying all over because I'm using my left skin. I mean, my left arm, my left hand. Let me do it with the, my right arm, easier. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna make a mess, you know me. So, the obviously feeling the oiliness it doesn't have a flavor or a scent so that on itself is kind of i prefer with a little bit of mint or scent or something but it does become oily and so you can see the product is moving probably the nice thing to do is to use a brush but i don't know why I hate using a brush on my lips. I hate it. Probably if you work with cost, uh, customers or you makeup artists or whatever, it's kind of better. But for me, I don't enjoy it on me. First of all, I don't have the patience. They're usually thin. But second, and, and you're gonna laugh, I can't stand 
the after of the brush. Now the brush is dirty with this oiliness, wetness sort of thing. I don't know, are you like me? And I can't stand it, <laughs> it's weird. I mean, obviously I can clean it right after, and then, well, I can rinse it or after, or I can dry it right after, but I don't know, it gives me this yuckiness. So I prefer to do this whole mess that I just did <laughs> and kind of use my finger uh, than to use a brush. And I do have several brushes that can be used, obviously, for the lips. But look how beautiful. So this is the combination that they suggested that it was used for that movie. Uh, what do you guys think? You like it? Um, I'm not going to try this one. I mean, the color looks totally different. And to tell you the truth, I had not liked the combination. I have worn this lip liner a lot more. I mean, I'm happy I got the Lisa Edwards because I do have the lipstick that goes with Midnight. But uh, yeah, definitely different than this And again, if you want a little darker in the middle, probably can really uh, color your whole lips with it. Now, before we go, I'm going to show you. So I this product, I mean, look, it's wonderful. It's great. I'm glad that they use it, oiling the dirt. But I feel messy. I feel, and look, now it's contained. Now I'm fine. But it feels like I put Vaseline on my lips. Maybe I'm too spoiled. I mean, the person, the actors, and the, if it's for the movie, if they actually did use this, uh, it's for the screen, right? It's for the for the movie, and they do it perfectly, and then you're there, and you're there to perform, right? So you don't care if it's uncomfortable, if it's smelly, if it's, I mean, you care, but it is what it is. But for us, that it is for a daily use, and we are not in a performing sort of nature, I prefer that's why I paid so much money for my bombs and for things like that, right? So I'll tell you what I do wear. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> okay. So let me remove this. At least the, the, the Vaseline portion of it. But you saw it, right? Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I'm resting. I mean, it felt good putting it on my lips because of the qualities that I described. But the flavor, it doesn't taste bad. But I don't know, it's something about it. I feel like I'm having something on my lips that I want to be removed. Probably like when you put a mask on. Have you ever put a mask on your lips where it feels oily, feels messy, hopefully it's transparent, and then you're happy to just take it off and you don't feel like ugh, you have a double lip? That's how I feel with that. So no, I'm not gonna use that again. But now that I did read for lip, skin, hair, beauty, fishing, and cuticles, I will use this on my cuticles. So right now, I'm not even gonna show you, it's embarrassing. They need so much love and care. I'm gonna put that on. I think that's gonna help for sure. But once we're done, because if not, I'm gonna leave everything with stains, right? Okay, so, or with that stickiness, Vaseline-like. So back to what, what I do wear and what I do use. MAC, uh, Night Moth, especially on the plum winter, because now we're going into spring. So obviously now it's all the nice pink pastels and pinks and all of this, but Yeah, I'm coloring a little bit more in. Trust me, if I could fast forward on this part, I would. But I'm not going to. Okay, I'm putting a lot more in my lips. Not by choice, I just did. I mean, I don't totally measure and I'm very careful and nah. You being with me, you know that's not me. I'm actually surprised how things end up every day. 
<laughs> especially today that I was like, oh, these colors are so similar. They are not. Okay. So, so I use that and then I do use this uh, Trish McBoy Mulberry Lip Balm. Now, if you've been with me, I, I haven't talked about it in a very long time, but I have talked about it way at the beginning of my channel. The Lip Perfection, this is Trish McAvoy, there it is, that I love this. This is like my fourth, this is brand new, but like my fourth uh, bullet. So I really like this. And this is, I put it right before my lips or right after a shower or things like that. This is conditioning balm. So this is the one I wear the most or used to. Obviously I haven't brought it up because I, now I'm moving to this one, which is a cheer lip color. This is not the balm and all this. This is a mulberry cherry lip color. Now I've been wearing this now in the state of Washington a lot more because when I was in Miami, for some reason, I barely pulled this one out, but here, Look, it's where it wore, you know, it's getting there. So this is, I've been loving this. So there it is. I didn't feel my lips, but I did kind of halfway. And then I apply this. So it feels soft and moisturizing and oily but without being like all over and on top of my lips like the pawpaw so this you see how i'm not with my fingers having to fix it it went all over and mm -mm. very nice now if you don't want it as dark as this you color less of your lips you just do the outside which is probably what i usually do not so dark but hey but see hmm. beautiful 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 and in this case i guess i can apply a little bit of this color so it just ties together with that violet berry that this blueberry has look at that oh yeah See how much it changes, maybe too much, but if it becomes too much, you can just grab your brush from foundation and um, scale it down a little bit. But because this is so cheer, uh, if I give it a few seconds, you know, it'll dissipate a little bit and it doesn't look too much it really doesn't in real life or in a couple of minutes but yeah if it bothers you i don't have my my foundation brush here with me but let's just do this with this brush it doesn't have any foundation or anything this is the new wayne goss um f4 it just came out this whole set which i need to do a review of all these brushes because Wayne Goss brushes for me are a must have. Those are the ones that I use the most. I have almost, not all her, uh, all his uh, brush sets, but almost, uh, and I love them. Of course, I own a lot of Sonia G and many others, but, uh, but Wayne Goss is, I would say number one up there. All right. Right? Okay. So it's been a long video just to say, what did I do with it? Where is my Mac? Okay. Just to say this and this, you can use it for the blush. You can use it for your lips every day. This two items, seriously, mm -hmm. big time secret. All right. So I think I went over <laughs> more than I needed to for these three items, but tell me what you think. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so ring the bell in the right hand corner and I will see you next time thank you bye bye